WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 186. NASDAQ up 51, S&P's up 18 and a half. We get over and take a look at the S&P's as well as the other indices, folks. You're at all-time highs. And what you do have happening out here is that it's getting away from the top of the range that we've traded in the last seven days. You know, the top of that range in the S&P cash is uh, 3,085. You're at 3,116. So what does that mean? That means that it does have a real shot to go um, basically another leg up. Uh, no volume behind the move. Uh, bottom line, we've seen uh, that happen, but they're stretching it in a huge way. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. NDX 100, now I've traded at a price point of 83.02. And uh, bottom line is that a little bit different setup. Uh, it's, it's getting away from it, but it really um, is not far enough away from the top of this range. So at 83.02, uh, 82.93 is basically the top of that range. Small caps, still the weakest indice out here. I mean, in a huge way, too. Pretty amazing, actually. Small caps just can't even catch a bid. IWM is up 90 cents. Uh, last high in IWM was up there at 160. That was a week and a half ago. And, of course, it was in July of 2018 that the IWM uh, has topped out. Gold contract, gold contract down six dollars and twenty cents, trading two hundred and thirty-nine thousand contracts. It's a nice setup. What do you have? What here? You get a pullback. You get tremendously lighter volume on the pullback. You know you don't pull pack a lot. Bottom line looks a bit that we still want higher price in the gold market, as we do. And this is where this is where you get divergence out here, as you do in the ten-year note, the thirty-year bond. Bottom line, they continue to want higher price. And, you know, you get both of them pulling back today, and you, are, you don't have sellers in this market. It's pretty amazing. We went higher the last two days. First day with 1.4 million contracts. Yesterday with uh, 1.6 million contracts. You're pulling back today in the 10-year with 857,000. We go to the 30-year. We take a look at the 30-year. Same type of setup inside the 30-year. 30-year, you're down 10 ticks right now. You're trading 158, 10 at that level, you're going to see that, number one, we got back inside the higher range. Number two, we had gone higher Wednesday, Thursday with big volume. You're pulling back today. Higher price, lower yield coming out of us. Stay right there, folks. Next 60 minutes of trading to finish off this week coming right up at all-time highs of the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ, as well as the S&P and the Dow Industrials. Coming right back.